so today uh, we will uh, understand okay so about the ports input outputs uh, ports in uh, the uh, microcontroller 8051 okay so generally you know uh, if you have a microcontroller okay so assume that uh, this is your microcontroller okay so this is your microcontroller or microprocessor anything okay so uh, there should be you know some ways to give input to this particular microcontroller correct okay so uh, there are uh, two kinds of uh, input outputs are there just remember first kind is basically you know uh, uh, io mapped io okay io mapped io and memory mapped io okay so input output through input output device and input output through memory device okay so what are the two types of uh, input output mechanism uh, input output mapped input output io and memory mapped uh, uh, you know input output you understood so what is the difference between you know io mapped uh, io is basically when you take the input uh, from the hardware okay input from the hardware and output to the hardware okay so then this is this mechanism is called io mapped io okay so any any of your program may require the input right and uh, it gives output where that output uh, comes it may come from you know some uh, physical uh, input uh, you know uh, channel so you may be giving output to the physical uh, you know uh, line so this kind of thing is called io mapped io and uh, if you are taking input from the memory okay uh, example how we executed the largest number sum of n numbers if you observe that particular mechanism the input was from the memory and also output was uh, uh, output is written back to memory correct so this kind of architecture is called memory mapped uh, io okay so input output mechanism is achieved uh, can be achieved through two ways one is uh, through input output devices or through memory device so so this is what you have to understand so now uh, we understood bit uh, about the memory mapped io okay that means uh, we have taken data from the memory and you have written data back to the memory okay so this concept is called memory mapped io so now uh, we have never touched this particular you know io mapped io correct so let us discuss on this particular part now, today okay so now when it comes to microcontroller or uh, no, any microcontroller it will be having some uh, you know something called uh, you know you can give two kind of uh, you know inputs one is uh, serial input okay and other one is you know parallel input okay parallel parallel input so serial uh, serial ports will be there okay to give inputs and there will be a parallel ports okay where you can give the parallel uh, parallel input okay so serial uh, port basically you know uh, you should understand how that uh, you know serial communication takes place and uh, how the parallel communication takes place here if you want to you know uh, you will be having a single line to transfer the data here you will be having the multiple lines to transfer the data in parallel ports okay so that is the difference between serial port and the parallel port okay so any microcontroller or microprocessor uh, it will it will be having multiple serial ports and multiple you know parallel ports to you know execute this uh, input output operation okay uh, am i clear up to this particular point so you understood uh, yeah so this is basically uh, input output i know you might have come across arduino board so normally you have a serial port you will connect wifi device and uh, you know many other devices and uh, you'll also having some uh, general gpio pins okay input output pins so you will be connecting that to you know for take data from the sensors all these things you had uh, done but you know basically what is that so any microcontroller or microprocessor will be having some serial port as well as uh, the you know uh, uh, parallel port okay so uh, now what we will do so microcontroller this 801 as you know uh, one serial port okay one serial port that means uh, serial port you will be having you know only uh, rx tx pin okay okay uh, receive and transfer you know uh, uh, pins two pins you will be having using these two pins you will be you know achieving that particular serial uh, uh, data in and data out okay so this is basically serial port and you have four uh, four ports okay four parallel ports okay so uh, the each port is having you know uh, 8 bit length 
okay eight bit length four ports you have okay so those ports are called in 8051 8051 those ports are called you know uh, uh, p0 okay so eight bit you know so p0 p1 okay uh, p2 and p3 okay so these are the four ports what you have in uh, 8051 microcontroller so if you take any other microcontroller definitely there will be some parallel ports and uh, serial ports okay number of uh, parallel ports number of serial port may be different in different uh, microcontroller okay so uh, with respect to 8051 you have four uh, parallel ports okay one serial port okay so now if you want to give any input from the external uh, devices then what we have to make use of these particular you know uh, ports okay and we have to execute that particular task so four ports you have each port will be having eight bit length okay eight, uh, so these are all you know physical eight bit eight uh, uh, you know uh, lines okay physical lines so you can connect anything and uh, you can give any data to the microcontroller uh, that is how you can do okay so uh, any any questions on this serial port and parallel port okay so uh, so now we understood uh, you know microcontroller 8051 has four ports and one serial port let us uh, you know uh, take up some application say for example i want to build uh, something called you know uh, watt meter you see i want to you know build watt meter okay so uh, watt meter you know development okay so i want to develop watt meter from scratch so how how i can do this particular uh, task okay so what what would be my program okay so that is what we have to work on now so watt meter development so if you know uh, uh, so first we have to write a architecture you know how how our you know entire uh, things will look like so anyway you may be having in any you know uh, circuit so what i'll do now i'll just consider a dc circuit okay so i'll consider a, a dc circuit and uh, what i'll do so i'll connect some load okay so maybe uh, uh, some load okay so some load is there and this is the circuit now uh, i need to build uh, you know uh, microcontroller and i want to display the uh, power value okay so uh, you know you know the watt meter means what it displays power power how you will calculate in uh, dc circuit it is simply you know uh, voltage into current it's you know correct voltage into current yes vi correct yes sir yeah so now uh, how we can do this particular watt meter using 8051 okay so now what uh, we will do so uh, you have a circuit dc circuit so now here you have a microcontroller okay so this is your microcontroller now what i'll do i'll uh, uh, you know i'll uh, what i'll do i'll use uh, port 0 okay to take the uh, you know say voltage value and i'll use uh, another port okay so port 1 to take the current value okay so current value and voltage value will come to one register okay so port 0 and port 1 there will be one uh, latch inside a microcontroller whenever you give any data that will come and sit inside a microcontroller okay so whatever data you give in this particular parallel port that 8 bit data will come and sit in that particular register so voltage value and current value i want to keep it in some one register okay so now uh, for that physically i will give the input from the uh, physical pin port 0 and port 1 okay through parallel port so 8 bit port i'll give the input now how how you will connect say for example this is basically digital pin okay so now the thing is you know you have to uh, so for example you may be having some kind of you know voltage sensor so you will be connecting some voltage sensor here okay so this is basically voltage sensor so and uh, also you will be connecting uh, you know maybe uh, some kind of uh, the current sensor okay so current sensor is also here so you are connected to the current sensor now at this particular point the current sensor value is coming and across this particular point the voltage uh, uh, no, current sensor value is coming you understood so now you you see i am just writing so this is the current value and uh, this is basically voltage value now what we have to do so this since this is analog quantity 
we need to convert this analog quantity to digital quantity. So for that, what we will use, we will use something called, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, sorry, we'll use something called uh, ADC. Okay. So what is that ADC? ADC means, uh, you know, unlock to digital convert conversion. So here we will use uh, unlock to digital conversion. Okay. So representation of that un unlock to digital con uh, convert conversion would be something like this. Okay, so I converted the voltage analog value uh, to digital value. Okay, so similarly, I converted uh, the you know uh, the current analog signal to the voltage uh, the digital value, and I given to uh, the uh, other port, P1 port. Okay, now you can see here the analog signal which is coming from the circuit. I converted using uh, uh, analog to digital conversion ADC. I converted to uh, digital format. Okay, digital format and the digital uh, data will go to the parallel port. Okay, and as soon as the data comes in this particular port, it will directly go to the microcontroller. Okay, so you hope you understood this particular uh, 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 circuit diagram. Any questions? Any questions on this? Yeah, fine. So now this is the basic, this is basically the circuit diagram and the overview of the circuit. Now, if you want to implement, what are the things we have to understand with respect to microcontroller level? And, and also, you know, you see, uh, one more thing you may be doing uh, normally. So you will be connecting uh, your port output, output to, uh, you know, some display, correct? Normally, LED display or you no know, LCD display, what, whatever. Okay. Normally, you know, so low cost devices, LED display. Seven segment LED display, or you know, uh, if you have a good uh, one thing, you, you may be having you know LCD display, uh, you know some uh, good one. You may be having some graphic display also. Okay, maybe you know. Let us consider simple you know LED display. Okay, so you'll be having some kind of LED display. Okay, and it displays the data. Okay, so it displays the data. Okay, so now whatever power comes, that power has to be displayed in this particular. Uh, uh led display seven segment led display okay so this is basically the objective you may be having you know some kind of uh, you know four digit or you know uh, whatever okay so now this is basically the input output now this output output you are giving na? so output you are giving so th that should be you know one more port so that means entirely three uh parallel port we are utilizing uh, for this particular watt meter application okay so this is the circuit diagram so now uh, some uh, many things we have to understand. So now the microcontroller program is very simple. Microcontroller program. So if I can write uh, here. Okay. So let me write a microcontroller program here. Okay. So I'll just uh, you know, write. You, know, you should uh, be in a position to understand. You know, the wattmeter program. I'll just build. I'll just build this particular application. Okay. Introducing. Uh, you know, uh, so now what is this program? It, it is basically uh, watt meter. Okay. Watt meter development. Okay. So now what, what we will do uh, here simply. Okay. We uh, take input. Okay. We take input from uh, two ports. Okay. So maybe, you know, uh, we, we, you know, we uh, copy that particular first data. What is that first data? P0. Okay, P0, we have taken to accumulator, move uh, B register, comma, P1. So that means the voltage value, current value came to uh, two uh, register inside microcontroller. So uh, this is basically voltage value, correct? And uh, this is basically the current value. Okay, current value. Now, well, what is what instruction you have to use? There is one uh, uh, instruction is there, uh, multiply instruction. So mul a b, okay, mul a b is basically the multiplication of uh, you know uh, uh, two values, okay. So that is uh, voltage into current. And uh, in this particular case, what happens? So a is equal to a into b. Sorry, uh, b is equal to a into b. Uh, uh, and uh, this is basically b register 
sorry a register uh, stores the uh, lower byte lower byte of a number lower you know uh, byte of a number and b register will uh, you know store you know uh, the higher byte higher byte of a number so when you do ab operation so uh, a b you are giving input and output also store uh, stored in a and b register lower byte uh, will be stored in a register and higher byte will be stored in b register so that is how this particular mul instruction is uh, developed so let us consider a simple uh, you know application where uh, you know uh, the result you know the multiplication will result in uh, only one byte so in that particular case the result always uh, be in a register okay then what you do so put that particular result to the port 2 port 2 third port you just uh, put that particular result can you understand here so then end your program okay so uh, this is uh, a simple you know uh, uh, watt meter program okay so simple watt meter program where you are taking two input from the uh, parallel port and you are performing the multiplication operation and you are putting that particular value to port 2 output port and your uh, you know that particular content will display okay hope you understood this particular program any any questions any questions on this particular program are any clarification you required please do ask everybody understood this this program the watt meter program the multiplication of uh, two uh, two uh, values uh, current and voltage values am i audible uh, am i audible so this uh, watt meter program you have to execute in lab so you have to uh, know all these things okay so uh, learn uh, you know even if you learn this particular uh, application so i'll be i'll uh, no uh, execute this particular program uh, till the pcb implementation level so that you know you can build any uh, you know application using microcontroller you know that is my objective so that's why I focus on this see now uh, that's what you know uh, you have conventional uh, problems in microcontroller uh, like you know addition of n numbers you know uh, uh, calculator program and all these things you know uh, conventional programs you have so this is uh, with respect to electrical domain and uh, you know application oriented so you have to learn in this way only okay so hope uh, i am clear on this uh, program where two input which is coming from the uh, port 0 and port 1 and which is got multiplied inside a microcontroller and the result is given back to p2 okay so it's uh, this is the th part now how how uh, you know what are the th you know minute things you have to consider you know when you are building this particular watt meter okay so what is the limitation of this particular architecture what you know uh, all those things we have to understand what 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 is the features of this particular watt meter so whenever you see any watt meter they will give the range of you know the values it can read okay so they will give the limitation so this watt meter can read the values from this value to this value okay so the limitation of that particular device they will give single phase or three phase whatever so some features will be there they will give that particular feature of that particular uh watt meter so if we implement this watt meter using this particular architecture let us understand what are the features of this particular watt meter and what are the limitations of this particular watt meter okay now first now uh so now what what values uh, you know it will uh, now we can read okay so now assume that what kind of value you have to read say for example your uh, voltage value uh, you know varies from 0 to uh, maybe you know at 0 uh, to uh, 12 volts okay 0 to 12 volts and uh, then your current value okay so your current value may be you know 0 uh, to you uh, know maybe uh, maybe 0 to 5 amps okay 0 to 5 amps so this is the range of the uh, current and voltage which is actually flowing in your circuit okay in uh, your actual circuit 
okay so this is the range of the uh, you know values in the uh, circuit now what kind of value uh, you know will come inside a uh, microcontroller we have to understand because you know this analog quantity you know microcontroller cannot understand so since we are using adc what kind of value will uh, it will you know appear in p0 and p1 we have to understand here okay so now to understand that say for example so what this is basically uh, the p0 or any register any register in uh, the microcontroller or you know p0 or p1 or p2 or p3 so or you know a register or b register any special function register is basically 8 bit correct okay this is basically 8 bit so if it is 8 bit now uh, you know you should know that the values will you know so the 8 bit means what okay you will be having like this correct this is the 8 bit data and what is the last data last data is basically this this is the maximum value what that register can hold what is this hexadecimal equivalent zero zero and uh, this hexadecimal equivalent is ff okay so how many values we know that you know totally 256 values will be there okay so that means uh, the next value will be 0 1 okay so 0 1 like that it will continue and you will be having 256 uh, values okay so now now say for example uh, here here you have to understand okay so now your voltage value in actual circuit okay so now i am just calculating for voltage so for your voltage, voltage is basically swings from 0 to 12 volts. Okay, 0 to 12 volts. And the corresponding, so 0 is corresponding to 0, 0, and 12 is corresponding to FF. Okay, 12 is corresponding to FF. Then if you get 0, 1, then what is that? If you get 0, 1 in that particular register, okay, what is that means? Okay, that means what you have to understand. So you have to, uh, so totally 12 volts. So 12 minus zero divided by total number of values, what you have is 256. Okay, now if I uh, divide this, you know, value. Okay, so what is that? 12 uh, divided by 256. Okay, so that means zero point, okay, 0 0.046, 0 0.046 okay 0 0.046875 you understood so if you are getting example if you are getting 0 0 in uh, in uh, the uh, voltage register that is p not register okay so that means that is 0 volts if you are getting 0 1 in the that particular register that means uh, you know 0 0.046875 volts so similarly it increases like this and if you are getting ff that means it is total 12 volts okay now what is the precision of this uh, particular uh, voltage reading is this particular value 0 0.046 now this voltmeter cannot uh, uh, cannot identify 0 0.02 okay that precision it cannot uh, do you understood so this is the limitation of this particular uh, wattmeter the voltage value uh, the precision is this okay 12 uh, 12 divided by 256 and uh, the meaning of you know uh, it you know this one you you can see you know this entire thing this is for the uh, our interpretation but microcontroller will understand only this part so 0 0 to ff only goes to the uh, port 0 okay port 0 okay so you have to be uh, clear on this particular aspect similarly similarly what is current so current uh, also you have to understand so current value uh, uh, here the only difference is 0 to 5 amps okay 0 to 5 amps so what is the precision 5 minus 0 divided by 256 okay so that precision of the current value is basically uh, 5 divided by 256 5 divided by 256 that is 0 uh, 0.019 okay 1953 okay so this is the precision of uh, the current value so that means what we are trying to say if you are getting 0 0 in port 1 okay input port so then what you are meaning to say you are saying 0 amps if 0 1 is there in the port 1 
that means 0 0.0191913 1953 i think okay 1953 so similarly if you are getting ff in the port 1 register that means full 5 amps current okay so this is how this is how you have to understand in case uh, if any calibrations required or anything uh, anything is required you have to internally multiply that particular multiplication factor in a microcontroller program so as to calibrate your uh, watt meter okay so any 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 questions on this particular part you know what microcontroller understands and what ex externally you are going to see so you are in if you take any digital meters you will see 12.56 uh, uh, you know watts so that is what you are externally seeing internally what happens it only plays with uh, you know hexadecimal number that is what i am trying to convey and also precision also defined here okay if the number of bits are more then the precision uh, is very high okay a lot of uh, values uh, you know uh, range range is there otherwise the range is not there but fair enough okay so 0 0.01 amps okay is fair enough okay and uh, you know uh, maybe you know for uh, steady state system this uh, watt meter is fine okay if you implement watt meter using this concept that is fine okay and also uh, coming to the uh, power power okay what is power power also output now power so what is the uh, minimum value and maximum value minimum value of course it is zero zero into zero so output value is you know uh, 12 into 5 okay 60 60 watts so 60 watts is the maximum power and uh, correspondingly so what you have to you have to you know think 00, zero means 0 watt okay ff means 60 watt okay and uh, what is the precision precision is basically uh, 60 divided by 256 okay 50 divided by 256 so that is basically uh, this one what is that value 0 0.2343 okay 0 0.2343 so uh, this is for every increment in this particular value will be 0 0.02343 so this is the you know watts when uh, uh, when inside your uh, inside your microcontroller if you have 0 1 hexadecimal value so this is the precision value you are clear uh, on this particular aspect Yes, sir. Okay, so now uh, uh, this is uh, one thing, and uh, see this one. You know, again, it uh, uh, depends. You know, how many digits uh, you want to display. If you are, you know, cut shorting, uh, if you are limiting yourself to, for, you know, say uh, two digit. Okay, two digit, you will get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, range. Okay, if you are, uh, no, if you are extending to more number of digit, the range will uh, come down. Okay. So, but try to understand this, uh, the limitation of this particular watt meter. So, now we know, uh, see, this is what you see the analog quantity. So, this is basically the analog quantity. The corresponding digital value from the ADC will be 0, 01. You understood? So, similarly here. So, this is the analog quantity and corresponding value would be uh, 0, 01 in microcontroller. If you give 5, five uh, amps current, that corresponding value would be FF in P1. Okay, so that value will go and it will sit in this particular 8 bit register inside a microcontroller. Okay, you are clear uh, on this particular po uh, aspect. So, last thing what I want to convey here uh, with respect to this watt meter. Okay, so now you see here uh, one uh, thing you have to remember in microcontroller. So, if you are configuring your port, as you know input output port then you have to flush that particular port with you know uh, if you flush that particular port with uh, say uh, ff okay ff then that particular port will become input port okay input port so now this port this p not can be input port or output port you can use it as a input it is a bidirectional port okay if you specify that as uh, ff then that means p naught will become input port similarly our p1 is also input port okay input port so that's why i'm just uh, flushing that particular you know, port with uh, uh, you know uh, ff 
okay so uh, the port 1 also becomes input port and but port 2 is basically output port okay so what you have to do you have to flush this particular port with 00h okay then that particular port will become output port so this is how you can make uh, any port as input or output port so next this is basically initialization what you have to do in the program then uh, whenever you go to the program and that particular port will be considered as a what is that input or output port you understood so now uh, how it works now i am just uh, running this particular program okay so basically you know uh, watt meter watt meter when i run this particular program you, you should see okay so what happens uh, now uh, that data now i am just running i'm i'm just running this particular uh, now you see ff I just uh, you know, uh, I just kept uh, uh, I just made P2 as output port. Now here you can keep any value. Say for example uh, P1 I am just keeping uh, 0 1 and uh, P2 the current value I am just giving as 0 2. Okay. Now you should uh, know now now when I run this particular program now you can see here 0 1 came to accumulator and 0 2 came to B register and uh, uh, then the multiplication takes place and the result will store back to a and b register okay so the result came back to a and b register you can see there only lower byte is there when you multiply 0 1 and 0 2 the result is 0 2 only higher byte is 0 0 only so higher byte 0 0 and the result is 0 2 okay and observe there the p2 is 0 0 when you execute this particular command that 0 2 will come to p2 that means physically that particular information will go to p2 register okay p2 register so that is how you can you can you can achieve this particular watt meter okay so any any questions on this uh, you know uh, watt meter uh, program here you know lot of other things are there you know uh, i have not written any uh, program on led okay so that part i'll take it in the next uh, class okay so how to uh, so this is basically you know 0 2 how to display this particular 0 2 uh, and convert that particular number to you know uh, uh, the you know, appropriate form is again uh, some microcontroller program you understood so directly i am just putting that p2 to uh, you know uh, where uh, this uh, this particular you know uh, led display but how i have to put this particular 0 2 to led that is the one more task okay that task i'll discuss in the next class so that is that part is pending so i'll uh, i'll continue in the next class so if you have any questions on this particular uh, part please do ask same program you can convert this to hexadecimal code and you can load it to the micro, actual microcontroller and you can uh, you know fabricate pcp and you can you know actually implement a uh, watt meter So any questions? Any questions on this watt meter architecture? Or any any uh, uh, mistakes are there in the program? Uh, you can you can uh, debate or you know discuss. Yeah. So fine then. Uh, uh just uh, work on this uh, we'll continue in the next class you can join uh, the next class thank you sir yeah thank you thank you all